guys, Eggers05 here. For those of you who are already subscribed to me, I haven't posted a video in what seems like forever. Probably because it's been forever. And I'm back at it again. So I'm going to be starting another series about exotic pet keeping. It's going to be covering general facts and information for those of you who are interested in learning. And then it's also going to have some helpful tips for if you're one of those people that's going to keep them as a pet. Today we're going to be starting with an invertebrate. It's called a velvet ant. I have one here. Despite its name, it is not actually an ant. It is a wingless wasp. All of these are female. The males have wings, and I do not recommend keeping those as pets. They are wasps, and they can sting. Their stings are rather painful, so if you're a cautious type, I do not recommend this as a pet. Also, if you're allergic to anything like bees or wasps, I highly recommend that you do not have one of these as a pet, because it could pose a risk. I caught this guy outside. I live in Texas. They're found in drier, sandy areas. Breeding these animals is extremely difficult because these are a parasite wasp. They burrow into other bees and wasps' nests and they lay their eggs on top of the pupa and then when the eggs hatch, the larvae eat the pupa. Not worth it, honestly. You can find them walking around. Usually I find them crossing the road. They're also for sale online. A couple websites, I'll include the link in the description. Um, where they sell them for about six to seven dollars a piece if you're interested in invertebrates like I am. Now uh, we're gonna go over some basic care starting with their housing. I'm choosing to house this velvet ant in a snazzy little container. It's small, you can see it's like head size. Ooh. They like to burrow so for substrate I suggest a very thin substrate. I'm using regular garden soil. It's organic, has no pesticides and no fertilizer, chemical additives or anything of that sort. It's just straight organic fertilizer. I mean fertilizer, yes. Chemicals, yes. No. You can use sand. You can use a paper towel if you so wish. You can use oak leaves. If you found it outside, you could even dig up a patch of dirt from where you found it and put it in. I'm going to pour a small layer of soil as I spill it everywhere. It doesn't have to be kept too moist, and like I said, they do like to burrow, so I would keep it thin unless, you know, you don't want to see the velvet ant, and I guess that would kind of defeat the purpose. Okay, well, for food and moisture, velvet ants typically lap up nectar and sweet liquids. Occasionally they will eat other species of insects like bees and wasps. Typically they stick to the sweet stuff. In captivity you can feed them honey water. We're going to be making this with honey and water. Use a bottle cap to keep it in and I'm going to use a piece of a paper towel like so. And for the sake of this video, I've got water right here in the syringe. And adding some honey. Just a little druplet. That's a few druplets. Okay. I'm gonna pour a little more water on top of that. Okay. So now you've got your water honey, honey water in this bottle cap and you can place it like so in the container. Next you're going to want to add some decorations, some things to climb and hide in. I've got a little pot here. It's hollow so they can climb in it if they so wish and I got a couple fake flowers. You can get fake plants like these at craft stores like Hobby Lobby or Michaels and they're generally pretty cheap. You can also get them at any pet store although they're likely to be more expensive, but probably more durable. For this, I wouldn't worry too much about the durability because they're not big chewers, they don't tend to destroy things, so... And there you have it. The species of this velvet ant in particular, if you can see, probably not, I will try. It's kind of reddish-orange, and it's got some black and white stripes at the end. This is called a Dacia motila, Bio Calata, like a piña calata. Oh, no, buddy. There you go. Okay. Also, fun fact, as it's doing it right now, 
maybe you'll be able to it, maybe not. Um, but the females have an organ in their body that they use to make a clicking noise in defense. She was doing that just a second ago. And that's about it for today. And this is my first video in a very long time. So more to come will probably be much better in quality and I won't be using an iPad for this. So um, stay tuned and thank you for all you guys who've already subscribed to me. And if you like this video, it can climb. Wow, scary. So yes, lid. If you like this video, please hit the subscribe button and the like button down below. Also, if you're interested, you can leave me any questions in the comments section, either about this animal or recommendations of animals you'd like to see videos of. Animals that I plan to do videos of include a chinchilla, African pygmy hedgehog, an iguana, and many more, including a lot of invertebrates. So stay tuned and thanks for watching.